Hello YouTube, Jerry Kirkpatrick here and I just recently received uh, the lower portion of the odd shape from Ron Covell and as usual it is stellar uh, both in the making of it and the finish. Uh, he also sent this little clamping piece that holds it down for doing the, the marking uh, and that'll come in quite handy while I uh, work on mine to get them to match perfectly. I did have to spend a couple of days on making some alignment pins so now that I've got them finished I can uh, clamp everything together and do the scribing and cut the bottom portion of both of them uh, to get a uh, equal equal distance equal amount on both sides so I can make a perfect three inch at the ends of both both of the pieces uh, and I'm sure you have watched the third episode and last of Ron's and he showed you how he's clamped the pieces together in order to scribe them and uh, start welding them together. So I'm going to clamp them together just exactly the same way Ron did so I can scribe the bottom portion of each and both ends and then I will be at a point where I can do the same to mine to the top portion and then start fitting them together and when I get that done and I have them nesting properly I'll bring you back and we'll start oxyacetal and welding them together. Now I hadn't planned on showing this part whatsoever, but I was so amazed after trimming uh, this piece, which is Ron's and mine, I made some little curved pieces. These are only three-eighths of an inch uh, wide and maybe an eh, inch and a quarter and I just placed these on the outside with a magnet and that if you notice there's four of them. One here, one here, one here, one here and that allows me to just drop this thing on and not have to mess with it trying to find out where where it fits it automatically lines itself up but what amazed me was this fit it is amazing uh, to me anyway um, all I've done is trim both pieces I did a little bit of sanding right here to get both uh, surfaces level but this is the first time I've dropped this on and look at the fit it is just amazing I this blew me away when I sat it on there the first time and it is almost ready to weld there's a little tuck here but other than that this uh, amazed me when I when I put it together so I just figured I would uh, film it and show you these little things that allows you to align a piece every time when you set it down you don't have to try and manipulate it and keep it in alignment so that's it uh, I just thought this would be of interest so I've gotten everything ready to go. Both ends are evened up nicely and ready to start tacking. Uh, 
But first, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about uh, the way that I weld. Uh, first, I use a Henrob welding torch. Uh, I'm going to be using a 0.5 tip. I'm going to use 1100 rod. Uh, that's 332nd in diameter. Very sparing flux. I use about a half a spork of flux down in the flux caddy and I can dip my rod in there. It's ready to go all the time. I don't have to use a brush at all. Uh, the pressures on the torch are about two pounds of acetylene and about a pound and a half, maybe two, on the oxygen. And that's all I need. The Hinrob torch uh, affords a very soft flame, so uh, you don't need any more oxy and acetylene than that, uh, unlike the Victor Harris Smith. Uh, almost everybody just sets their regulators at 5 and 10 and does everything uh, at that setting. Uh, when I adjust my torch, I open the valves entirely, or a, a full turn at least, and then adjust the regulators to match the tip that I'm using. And uh, with that being said, I think we're ready to start the first tack right here. And instead of tacking right at the end of the piece, I start back about a quarter of an inch where there is more mass uh, the the material is not going to burn away real quick so I can get a puddle started make a real quick tack out to the end and then I'll start uh, going around all of the other areas and lining up the seam as I go along. I'll put a tack on all four ends first and then start working the seam along and as I get them flushed up I'll put a tack, work the next area and put a tack. So let's get to welding. Okay, there's about a yeah, maybe a half inch tack right there. I can turn this over and start tacking the bottom side, flushing up. Almost all of this is, is good as it is, but it'll take some just light 
tuning to bring it into where it's got to be so it's the finish is perfect okay now that I've got uh, a few tacks in different places both on the back side on the inside after I tack those up I got all of the seams just nice and flush so with that let's get to welding Now all I have to do is go all around the, the rest of the perimeter and weld everything up and then start finishing this seam out.
Sorry about the extended delay in getting this fourth and last portion of doing the odd shape with Ron Covell, but uh, we've had a extended period of heat up here in Northern California. Uh, we've had several days of 104 to 106. In fact, right now at nine o'clock in the morning, it's 86 degrees. So today is going to be another scorcher. So with that being said, let's get on to finishing up, forming an odd shape. So this is the piece that started it all. Uh, I sent a picture of this to Ron Covell and he said it would be quite interesting to um, do, make the part as a collaboration. So I made the buck or hammer form in my case and sent him off half of it. He made two pieces, sent one half back to me and this is my interpretation of the same piece. And to let you know that this is exactly the shape that the piece is supposed to be, this fits on just perfectly. And uh, I'm sorry that I didn't send both halves of this to Ron for him to finish off the pieces because this is what I used to do all of the detail, all of the filing, all of the grinding, all of the sanding work on this. I just clamped this in the vise and I could manipulate this any way I wanted in order to get to any portion of the piece. So there you have making an odd shape with Ron Covell and Jerry Kirkpatrick. I hope you enjoyed this series. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and I do enjoy a cup of coffee. Bye.